Hello everyone, how are you? It's Will, but it's not just any Will because it is Germany Will. This is one of my first videos that I'm posting in... Germany. So today we are in my room, which you can check out on my room tour video. I'm not sure if that'll be up, but it will definitely be up soon once I finish. I don't want to give away too much. Anyway, we're at my desk. Here's my current desk. Those are not all my pens, don't worry. We have more and more. <laughs> But as you guys can see, I have a giant pen addiction. I also do bullet journaling with some ugly pens up there. Sorry about that. Anyway, today we are organizing my desk. So I'm gonna go through my stationery. I'm gonna talk about future bullet journaling videos. I'm gonna show you guys just my desk in general. So let's get into it. Okay, we have a desk from Ikea. I will link it down below. I love it so far. I've only lived here for 24 hours. Anyway, I got these three holders from Amazon, which I am now putting my Tombow pens in. Shoot, I don't have enough room. Okay, so the Tombow markers didn't fit into these, but they just barely fit into that one. So I'm planning on buying more in the future, so we're gonna need to buy some more containers at Ikea. This is also an acrylic that I got off Amazon. Just search acrylic pen holder. I love this desk and it definitely has a lot of advantages for me, but as most of you guys know, like I just said in this video, I do bullet journaling. So one of the advantages for you guys is that this it's gonna help me film my bullet journaling videos with a tripod extension that I got, which I'm so, so excited about. So starting for the month of September, I'm gonna do plan with me videos. Hope you guys enjoy them. We have 96 Arteza brush pen. I have 150 Crayola Super Tips. This is a 50 pack, this is 100 pack. Together these were a little over $20. Definitely recommend. So cheap. They're also Crayola, but they are so good. Let me tell you. We have the Zebra Mildliners and the Zebra Mildliner brush pens. These are so good. They are dual sided. We have a bunch of Stablos. Here's some more. They're all random. There's a store right next to my house that sells all the Stablos, so I will get more. And they're so cheap here. The prices for pets in Europe are ideal. Anyway, I bought like a little pack off Amazon that came with everything except for the big highlighters. I bought these at an art store. I have a wide range of black pens, which is just consists of Sharpies, Pigment Microns, Tombow Fudenosuke, Arteza. This chair from Ikea, which I will also try to link in the description, and a wheel just fell off, that's not good. In here, we have a bunch of stuff. We have these, which I don't know what they are. We have Copic markers. We have Sharpies. This is just a, a range of stuff, so I'll show you guys that later. We obviously have our Tombow Dual Brush Pens. I got this pack from a friend of like the basic colors, and then I bought a bunch of pastel colors individually from an art store. We have some crafters tape, which I love. This is basically, I have a HP sprocket with 130 packets of film, which is kind of crazy. So I'm gonna do a Polaroid wall, but those are actually stickers. And if you if you have like Polaroid cameras or film with, that's not a sticker, this is great. It rolls on and it's like literally super glue. So you don't wanna like put it on a wall, but in my bullet journal, it's incredible. We're almost done, kind of. <laughs> we have some Box on metallic brush pens. These are also at that store, so I might buy more of those. And then we have these Kiritake metallic pens. And we have the 78 pack of whatever markers these are. They're oil-based, so they don't work in a bullet journal, just letting you guys know, because they bleed. And the erasers that I use are these Vanish erasers. They're so good. And I also use this one, which I don't know what it is, but I'll do my best to find it. I have this organizer for Tombow pens. White jelly rolls. And this is called YouTuber tape, which really works well. Not for my bullet journal, just in general. Anyway, last last thing. For my mood tracker, I use these Uli pens. These were the only pens that I had when I started my bullet journal. I hate this decision. Next year, I'm definitely using my outliners, but for now, for this year, Uli. And a highlighter, because I didn't have an orange. I will show you guys the final result once I'm done organizing, and I will do a tour. I might do like a little bit of bullet journal flip through. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited for my bullet journal videos. 96 holders, 96 brush pens. Could this be more aesthetic? Ladies and gentlemen, the desk is done. It's behind me. You're getting a little sneak peek. So here are the before shots of the desk. And here, my friends, is the after. Okay guys, so the Crayola Super Tips, I am going to get a holder for them at Ikea, uh, which we are actually gonna go to tomorrow because it's seven o'clock and they close in an hour. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little in-depth tour. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these because they're just books. 
Um, and I wish I had like a holder for them. They're all just by YouTubers. Joy Graceffa, Shane Dawson, Jen McAllister, Colleen Ballinger. This is where this camera actually goes with some other editing stuff. These are some watercolors. I'm trying not to make it super crammed so that I can add more. Down here, we have my iPad, some snacks. We have my Mac and this chair. And then we have this organizer. On the far one we have brushes, then we have my mood tracker and my favorite black pens. We have our Stablo highlighters and our Tombos. We then have washi tapes, we have my Apple Pencil that's charging. Now these, I actually want to talk to you guys about these. I will link these in the description because they're from Amazon, but my problem with these is that my pens would not fit all in one container. Like my Zebra Mild Liners, four of them couldn't fit so they're up here. All my Copics couldn't fit. These all couldn't fit, and that's because I had a lot of pens. So if you guys have a bunch of pens, don't recommend these, and probably not that either. You're probably gonna want something bigger. Um, I just didn't realize. And also, what's really important for this is that the pens and the cap are the same size. Because obviously all my Zebra Mild Liners would fit if the caps didn't have these big things, or all my Sharpies would fit if the caps weren't bigger. All of these would fit if the caps weren't bigger than the pen. So that's my problem with these. Anyway, it ended up working out. All my pens are actually displayed except for the ones in here. So we have Copic, Zebra Mild Liner, and some... <laughs> we also have some Stabilos and some Jelly Rolls. Zebra Mild Liner and Zebra Mild Liner brush pens. My Vanish Erasers, which I love. We have some colored sticky notes and clips down here for my bullet journal. Sharpies, Sharpies, and whatever these are that I'll link down below. Uh, these pens, I forget what they're called all the time, but they're really good for like school supplies. Um, more Stablo, black pens and pencils with a couple metallic Sharpies, some metallic box on pens, and some Kiritake pens. Down here we have two more Vanish erasers, a big eraser, and a big, big paper clip for my bullet journal. This was so satisfying. This has a hundred little slots, but then one of them, or four of them are used for holders because you have to build it. And I had 96 Arteza brush pens. So when I tell you this is the most satisfying thing ever, I mean it. Exactly all my Arteza brush pens fit in here, which was incredible. We have crafters tape. We have whatever these are again. So there's like 78 of them or something. I just put them in the container that they came in. I got the travel container. Um, I'm not sure why, but I just did, and it ended up working out. We have my YouTubers tape, my HP sprocket, and my, its film, my bullet journal, my camera, and an at sign that I got from the dollar store. I love it. Up here, I'm keeping open because this is where I'm going to film my bullet journaling videos. I will give you guys an update in one of my bullet journaling videos of where I put all 150 of my Crayola brush pens, or my Crayola super tips. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe to follow me on my Germany journey. I was not expecting to say that first try. Also, you, can, you guys can check out my room makeover. We're, I'm filming that next. We still have some stuff to put away. But without further ado, I love you guys. Have a great day. Adios.